Lesson 318 in me salvation's means and end are one. Welcome to the Qigong support for A Course in Miracles students. My name is Judith and this is the Lucid Mind Center, a virtual center to retrain the mind. Today I'm inviting you again under my terrace in Gran Canaria, the Canary Islands. The reason I'm telling you this is because you can see me here in November with a very lightly dressed is because we are having a heat wave right now and it feels like a summer day. It actually feels warmer now than it felt on any of the summer days this year. So the reason why this is called Qigong support for A Course in Miracles students is because for each one of those lessons during the whole year, I have recorded a special Qigong class which is suited to help you understand and internalize the lesson better. Mm. And in the part two, I am recording one or two lessons which are specially suited for the special thought. And in this case, what is the final judgment? In the end, I'm going to guide you to the corresponding classes. You can also always find the links below in the description of the recommended Qigong class and you can also find below the link to two videos which I have recorded explaining on how Qigong can help you as a Course in Miracles student. I'm going to give you more explanations at the end. Let's begin reading our lesson together. Lesson 318. In me salvation's means and end are one. In me God's Holy Son are reconciled all parts of heaven's plan to save the world. What could conflict when all the parts have but one purpose and one aim? How could there be a single part that stands aside or one of more or less importance than the rest? I am the means by which God's Son is saved because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness which God has placed in me. I was created as the thing I seek. I am the goal the world is searching for. I am God's Son, His one eternal love. I am salvation's means and end as well. The prayer goes like this. Let me today, my Father, take the role you offer me in your request that I accept atonement for myself. For thus does what is thereby reconciled in me become as surely reconciled to you. Beautiful. I mean, this is very advanced. Mm. To accept that everything you are looking for what the world is looking for is actually within us already. And not only, if I recognize that it's within me, then I automatically recognize that it's within any other human being too. And not only is it within any other human being too, then it's also in, in any living thing or element, if you will. I mean, in me are all the parts for heaven's plan reconciled. And if I put this in Qigong terms, that means the three treasures, which is the body, the mind, and the soul, and the emotions, and the spirit. There's like all different things. In, in Chinese, the, the word for mind, Shen, means both spirit and mind. And the heart, the treasure is Qi which is the life force energy, and then Jing, which is the physical force, the vital force. So these are the three treasures. So it says here, in me are all the parts reconciled. And in Qigong we are saying we have to convert Jing, the, the vital force, the physical force. We want to refine it into Qi and, this, and, and become aware of the life force energy which is, which is making our heart beat, which is making us breathe. The air, the very air we are breathing is, is constantly circulating with that chi through our whole body and with the blood. And then we want to refine that life force energy when we have become aware of that. We want to kind of re, re, 
refine this into spirit, into something which is even finer than chi. And um, it's called Shen, the treasure is called Shen, which is the mind and spirit, or the spirit mind, or even the God mind. So if you want to put this into Course in Miracle terms, you want to, you want to kind of refine your awareness from the ego level into the spirit level. So from ego to emotions to spirit, becoming aware that you are the Holy Son of God. And if you want to, if you want to apply to the, to the five elements, mm, you have heard me say that each one of those five elements, according to, to Chinese cosmology, has got virtues. And those virtues, they are hidden by negative emotions and they are also um, attached to the different organs and muscles and tendons and um, blood vessels and, you know, to, to the whole body. They have, they have assigned every single one of those elements to, to the whole body. And the Chinese medicine over the over over two and a half, three thousand years has figured out that certain negative emotions attach themselves to a particular part in the body there. You maybe feel pain or discomfort. And this is usually exactly the same part where you experiencing the virtue of that element. So for example, mm, confidence is of the of the spleen, the pancreas and the stomach. So when you are feeling anxiety, you're feeling anxiety in your stomach and then you, your confidence is hidden behind the negative emotion. Or for example, the, the virtue of the heart is unconditional love and patience and compassion. And when you are feeling impatience or hatred or small-mindedness, then, then the virtue of generosity or the, the, the virtue of compassion and understanding and embracing the world and inviting people in and inviting love in, it is hidden. And this is how it is with every single one of those five organs. And in this class it actually says, in me salvation means and end are one. So basically within you, you have got the key to the salvation. So if there is anything ailing you, it is the key to the virtue which is hidden behind that ailment. And the Chinese medicine is, is very good and, and actually attaching it. But still, you are your, your final judge, if you will, on that. You are your final, final healer, is you, where you are saying, you know what, I don't need this no more. I choose I, to be healthy. I choose to be whole. And if your path is to have a body which is ill, then accepting that path as well as we have learned yesterday. So with this idea in mind to understand that everything what we need to reconcile is already within us, that we just have to kind of say, okay, it's within me, let it emerge to help me understand and sink back into joy and understanding and peace, then let it happen. So with this in mind, let's read our lesson one more time. Lesson 318. In me, salvation's means and end are one. In me, God's Holy Son, are reconciled all parts of heaven's plan to save the world. What could conflict when all the parts have been one purpose and one aim? How could there be a single part that stands aside or one of more or less importance than the rest? I am the means by which God's Son is saved because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness which God has placed in me. I was created as the thing I seek. I am the goal the world is searching for. I am God's son, his one eternal love. I am salvation's means and end as well. And it is of course the second coming, which we have done in the last, in the last 10 day period, is remembering each one of the, us that we are the one true self, the Holy Son of God, that Christ within us. In the last judgment, 
you are going to hear what God's last judgment is about you and us, humanity in general. And the prayer for this lesson goes like this. Let me today, my Father, take the role you offer me in your request that I accept atonement for myself. For thus does what is thereby reconciled in me become as surely reconciled in you. Beautiful. Definitely something you want to meditate on with the lesson mm. I have prepared for the last judgment. In the Qigong class, I'm going to ask you to read the idea as well as the prayer and meditate on that. Ask for clarification. It will help you internalize the lesson and understand yourself and the lesson better. For this lesson, I definitely suggest you do this Qigong class of the last judgment. Here is another class which could be interesting for you to do today. Here you have what is the last judgment, the reading together with me. And here you have the full list of Qigong classes if you would like to do another one. Enjoy.